You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video. And by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome back. We've got continuing coverage of CES 2015 here. I'm super excited. I'm John P. And I am Derek Kessler. Derek, we've got our friends from Ford here in the house today. Awesome. So you guys, welcome Jim. He's on, he's, uh, Jim, you are the Director of Research for Electrical and Electronic Systems. And that means uh, anything, basically anything related on to the car, to connectivity and infotainment systems. I'm uh, in research, it means that I'm looking up front, I'm trying to look for the next innovations, and that's why it's good to be here at CES. Uh, we also have our exhibit as well too, and we had a keynote speech earlier this week with Mark Fields, our CEO, talking about the future of mobility. So it's been a really exciting week. It's getting, I'm getting kind of tired. Yeah. Good, yeah. Thing, good thing it uh, ends at four o'clock. I think we need some rest. That is true, we do. Now, I, I have been waiting to talk to you because I am a huge customer of yours, believe it or not. In Thanks, fact, thank you in for that. In fact, I'm going to challenge you. I, oh. I figure nobody, nobody would know this better than you, uh, being a Ford man. I own three Ford plug-in hybrid electric. Three? I own three. Do you know anyone, have you heard of anyone else who owns three in one household? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I'm, there may be some out there, there but I don't know. There may be a few, but not so, a lot. So, C-Max? Uh, I have Fusion? two C-Maxes and one Fusion. You're well, kind of crazy. I, oh, and I like kind it. Of? Hey, that's great. Yeah, He's environmentally I, responsible. Yeah, Look so at that. we've got a lot yeah. of plug-ins. Yeah. So, you plug uh, them on all of them in at the same time? I do, we do. <laughs> really? You uh, have it up on the... <laughs> we do. Uh, we built out our garage at yeah. home. We expanded our garage. We had a lot of capacity. Okay. So I have three charging stations. They're all plugged in when they're at home. And they didn't have to n route a new line to your house? We did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we did. Right. We had to, uh, we he had is to, really committed. I, yeah. He is committed. You would not believe. But also, our house is green. Yes. We have 10 kilowatts worth of... Oh, solar really? array on the top. Oh, you know, that's perfect. We've got all kinds of stuff like that, and uh, uh, we happen to own our building uh, that we do, you know, our stuff out of, and so yeah. we put a, a charging station there. Great. So when we, when I'm at home, I charge. When yeah. I'm at work, I, I, I can plug in, and of course, so. Being, uh, I'm a huge Ford customer, I'm very interested uh -huh. in where we're going with all of the electrical systems. And sure. So I have, personally, I drive the Fusion. It's the Platinum Edition, you uh -huh. know, I've got uh -huh. every gadget. Mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. I love my, I love the fact that I can like take my hand off the wheel and not pay attention, it'll drive itself down the road. Even well, though I know you wouldn't minute. tell me to do that. <laughs> wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Those are driver assistance <laughs> Oh, features. is that what assistance. it is? Oh, Make assistance. you a better driver. Right, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, actually I did test that though, uh, yeah. on the highway once or twice where, you know, I like put the cruise control on and and it was a nice clear highway. Yeah. No, I, ha I kept my hands nearby, yeah. but you know. When that little symbol comes up, if you leave your hands off for too long. It, it right? tells you, it's like Get put your, your hands, hands on the wheel. wheel. <laughs> uh, but, but it's interesting because the car, the car is smart enough that I took my, I just held my hand over it and even on kind of a curvy, long, straight Texas highway, it drove itself, it steered itself, you know, and it's got it cruise control and all that. These cars are really getting smart. Yeah. Well, we let me make it first. Absolutely, I, we nobody do should not ever do that. that. Nobody Please should do that. that. Yes, That's don't not, do it. Bad John. Not, bad John. Not, <laughs> not but yet. you know, I test these things. No. So, uh, but they, but cars are getting a lot smarter. A lot mm -hmm. more sensors. You know, the key sensors in there are. Uh, you're talking about lane departure warning, so it's looking for the lane markers. Right. Uh, if you get, it sounds like you're in Texas. In Texas, And you right. got nice sunny days, yes. a lot of sunny days, so those uh, lanes are marked really well. They are. Uh, I'm from the Detroit area. They're suffering with some snow right now. Yeah. And, uh, they can't for, quite see it as much. It's hard to see the road, yeah. nevertheless, the, uh, the lane, lanes. But uh, cameras looking forward to see that. Um, we have um, forward the collision warning systems all around. with uh, radar, forward-looking radar that's sensing the distance and in the adaptive cruise control keeps you at a uh, given distance. Uh, we have radar that looks out the back of the vehicle so can, you can look in the blind spots and you got those, my wife calls them the little yellow dots. Yeah, the little dots. <laughs> yeah, tell you that don't change lanes because there's something in that lane. So yeah, there's sensors all around the vehicle and those sensors are what are really enabling a lot of these new features. The combination of those sensors and, and software. Software's a key enabler as well too. So, And it, it, that's really where the future is going. 
Now, we've also got all the technology in the car that yes. keeps me entertained and keeps mm -hmm. me, uh, mm -hmm. you know, in, in touch with what I, with what right. I want, with the sync system and all right. that. Where are we going with all that? In fact, uh, we just introduced, uh, just last month, and uh, hands-on, first time hands-on here at CES, is our Sync 3 system. Sync 3 is uh, the latest and greatest platform for Sync meaning uh, using the latest and greatest technology we have available to, uh, uh, to us to make it faster. We've improved on the, the graphics and the uh, human machine interface. Uh, you'll notice that the, the uh, buttons are larger and, and the way we've organized and so on. So it's an upgrade improvement in the, si the system overall, taking advantage of some of the technology we have available today. Uh, in addition, uh, it is loaded with uh, AppLink, which is our uh, device connect technology that allows you to access uh, applications that are on your phone, uh, the Stitcher, uh, Pandora, Slacker, uh, uh, NPR One, and so on, and uh, through voice commands and touchscreen commands, control those applications that are running on your phone. Nice. So. nice. I noticed that uh, Sync 3 is visually very different from the previous iterations mm -hmm. of Sync. How did customer feedback uh, contribute to that sort well, of redesign? Uh, very much, very important. Uh, um, in a vehicle, the larger targets, you know, where you push mm -hmm. are really important. And so a rearrangement of that was really important feedback. Uh, you know, there's some things that we retained as well too. Color is, is a good differentiator right. as well too. So, so on the Ford versions, you, you retain those colors for the different modes of phone versus uh, entertainment versus uh, navigation and so on, versus climate control. So that really contributed a lot to, to uh, the feedback we had from the customers really contributed a lot to how we've arranged uh, the buttons, the size of the buttons, how we reduce the amount of clutter so it's easier to find what you want. Now are we, it, is it, are we going to start seeing the new interface only appearing in the new vehicles? Are we going to see our older like models, like my car's a 2013, you know? Mm -hmm. Is it going to be kind of quote upgraded? Is it going to be a firmware upgrade and one day I'm going to walk up and you know it's going to look different or is it available yeah. to me or the, how, how the, is that going to work? The new human machine interface is part of Sync 3. Uh, and Sync 3, as I mentioned, is a new platform. So there's new hardware okay. and a new system okay. uh, system architecture. So that new interface is only available on Sync so 3. So that'll be on okay. the new coming. So That's is that right. going to be on the 2015s, or where are we going to start we, seeing it? We are, uh, we'll see it later this year. It'll be launched later this year on the 2016 model year. On the 2016 right. model year, okay, cool. Um, any other incremental technological improvements we're looking at seeing in Ford vehicles? Uh, well, one of the things on with the Sync 3 system is the ability to do over-the-air software updates. So th either through your connected phone or through a Wi-Fi connection, say, back to your house, you'll be able to upgrade the software. Now, previously yeah. it was, and you've probably we done this, it, yeah, the USB in, yeah. connection and so on. Now we'll be able to transfer the bits and bytes uh, uh, over Wi-Fi or through your phone. That's cool. Excellent. Now I don't know the answer to this question, so hopefully it's not. I don't. I, I hopefully it's not negative. I don't think it is, but. Um, since I have one of the cars that's like super smart with all the electrical everything, uh, uh, I've got all those gadgets and goodies. Are, are we going to be able to see Sync 3 in a wide range of models? I mean, like, is it in the new F-150? Is it going to be in, a, in the lower end Ford models? Is it available everywhere? So, uh, uh, we're not, we haven't announced yet which models it's going to launch on okay. later this year. Okay. But it will spread across all the entire vehicle line, uh, first here in North America and then uh, future uh, across the globe. So we continue to launch uh, My Ford Touch and Sync 2 uh, in Europe right now. Um, very important to us uh, uh, to continue launching Sync 2 in Europe and then after that uh, we'll see Sync 3 start to take hold. Okay, cool. Excellent. Well, uh, I think that even the folks who have the lower end models love the infotainment Absolutely, and the ease yeah. and convenience features and all that stuff. So it'll well, be good. Well, yeah. you know, voice recognition is is really important to reduce driver distraction. Driver distraction. And uh, the Sync 3 uh, system improves on the voice recognition as well too, making it a little bit easier uh, to be more conversational in some of the uh, interactions with the vehicle. So cool. Excellent. Now. Um, Sync 3, if I remember correctly, you changed to uh, using a QNX in the background mm -hmm. instead of the, using Microsoft's yes. embedded platform. What, what prompted the change for that sort of um, complete was, overhaul behind it? It was just a, a change in strategy. Microsoft still remains a very important partner uh, with us uh, and, and are, is doing a lot of work that uh, you'll hear about sometime in the future okay. with us, but Microsoft is really important. But um, the QNX platform um, in some of the sourcing changes we made was the right platform to, to work with the hardware changes we made and some of the features we wanted to create. Excellent. Cool. 
Well, thank you so much for all the updates on Ford stuff. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in and staying tuned to all our continuing coverage here at CES 2015. I'm John P. And I'm Derek. And we'll be back soon.